We are joined by Pat Hankins, the Democratic candidate for Greene County Sheriff. Pat, it's great to have you with us. It's great to be here today, Jim. Uh, we are now just a couple of weeks away from the uh, general election, and um, so far as you've been out on the campaign trail, how challenging has it been uh, for you so far? Well, Jim, I'm not a career politician, and this is my first time around, and I guess it's been very challenging because I'm new at this, and and it's been a, a great task to take on because I've I've just met so many great people out there, and it's, it has been a challenge, but I've loved every minute of it. What feedback have you gotten from the voters um, about what their expectations are for the uh, Sheriff's Department uh, moving forward? Obviously, you've probably talked to a lot of people at this point, and, and what have they told you? Well, I think it is time for a change, and they and the voters has talked to me, and and there's a lot of problems with the sheriff's department that they've told me about and would like to see changed and and I feel like that I can do that but uh, some of them of the people calling in and having so many break-ins and the drug rate uh, being so high the crimes which is probably 90 percent of our crimes in Greene County come from drug related offenses and uh, that's something that we really got to attack aggressively and work on. Along those lines, uh, earlier this year, the uh, the TBI issued its annual report on crime in the state, and the report said that about only about 30% of the crimes that are committed in the county uh, wind up getting solved or cleared. Um, why is that number so low compared to some other jurisdictions across the state, and what do you think can be done to increase those numbers? Well, from the beginning, I would like to lower those numbers by being an aggressive sheriff's department. And whenever I say that, I want to get the men out there and I want to stop the crime before it starts. That's the best way to solve crimes, in my opinion, is to not have crimes. But the being so low, that is uh, 30% of the crimes being solved is upsetting. Uh, we need to work on that, and I know the men at the Sheriff's Department are very good men. They're hardworking, and uh, we need to go to the scene when, I've, when uh, we have a crime. And as a law enforcement officer and a detective, I've learned to look for things that normal person doesn't look for as a homeowner. Whenever you're broke into, there'll be a lot of things that I see that you don't recognize, and it's those small details that, solve the crime and I know that a lot of times they're taking reports over the radio they're not going to the homes of people and that's a huge mistake we've got to go because they are trained to look for these little pry marks on the door and, and we can take those pry marks and look and see if that's a size of a crowbar or a size of a screwdriver and that may not sound important but it's those little things that usually gets people uh, convicted, caught, and stops the crimes. For a number of years, uh, there has been talk about building a new jail uh, to house the uh, the growing population of county inmates. Obviously, since the last uh, the current jail was built, uh, the number of county inmates has, has skyrocketed. And also, as well, it's been a, a revenue generator through uh, housing uh, federal prisoners as well. Do you think that a new jail is necessary for Greene County? No. And also, I want to back up where you said a revenue generator. I don't believe that either. I do not believe that you can make money housing prisoners. And let me explain that to you. And here's how it has maybe worked in the past, but it is not going to work now. And I'm going to put that in terms that I can understand and, I, and to explain it to the people. Listen. If you own 10 acres of land and you have two cows on that 10 acres of land, then we can go out and buy four or five more cows and put on that land and make it profitable. But if I own six or seven cows to begin with and own two acres of land, and I've got to go out and buy eight more acres of land at the price it is today, there is no way that you can make money at that. You cannot pay the interest. If we build a new $40 million jail 
and you're trying to make money housing prisoners, it will not work. You won't be able to pay the interest. Uh, I just don't see that that will work at all. That's not the answer. I don't care how big you build a jail. We can fill it. It's been proven by Washington County. They're already full. But what we've got to do, whenever you put people in jail with the system that we've got right now, all we do is educate those people to be better criminals. We need to look at something different and help those people instead of just throwing them in jail and putting them in there. I used to think that that was the answer. But uh, since I started a program or been involved with a program, I didn't start it. Uh, Judge Tom Wright started it back in 2003 called Drug Court. Chief of Police at that time was Mac Jones, and he called me in, and he said, uh, I want you to be on a team that is going to help people and get people out of jail and to not uh, help them to learn how to be better citizens, to be a productive citizen of Greenville. And uh, I said, well, Chief, I think you've got the wrong person. I believe in putting them in jail, not getting them out of jail. And he said, well, I'm going to send you some to schools in California and Arizona and two or three places that they've sent me to, and and uh, I have changed my way of thinking greatly that if you throw them in jail and teach them nothing, they come out and don't know any more than they did when they went in. But if we put them in jail and get them help and, and can get them jobs, then we've helped that person, and it's been 70% successful to keep them back out of the judicial system and it works. And this is programs that we need to look at. Uh, I think that's the answer, not just building a jail. What has been the, the most rewarding part of this campaign for you so far? Well, I grew up in Green County, and I thought I knew the people of Green County and a lot of people. And I've started traveling from Lost Mountain to Camp Creek and it, this is a huge county, and my father carried the mail back in uh, when it was rural route to Afton, and back in Lost Mountain, uh, Afton area, and and uh, we also run a mill out at Afton, and and I thought, man, I know most of the people in Greene County, but after I've got out and uh, got to meeting people, no, I don't know a whole lot of people in Greene County. There's a lot of citizens of Greene County, and and I know that uh, I've been criticized a lot to not speaking to people, and and I want to apologize to those people because I'm not a politician. I'm just a Green County boy that is out here, uh, want to learn all that I can learn and do the best job possible to help the people of Green County. Pat Hankins, the Democratic candidate for Green County Sheriff, we appreciate you taking the time out to join us. Thanks a lot.